Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the 2002 re-release of the vintage MPC Ice Cycle. Now this kit was 31,917 in the recent catalog and has been discontinued, but you can still find them online for sale. Now AMT um, lists this as a 125th scale, but uh, it's actually probably closer to 112th scale, uh, which was uh, noted on the original release. It's considered a skill level 2 kit for the intermediate builder, and it's pretty basic. It's got a low parts count with 75 pieces. It's molded in white, chrome, clear, clear red, and vinyl tires. It has water slide decals, and in the kit you get a number of extra parts that were related to a previous version called the Boss Bike, and those will be extras. Originally released as the MPC kit number 415A from the 60s, this is a model of a pedal bike ice cream delivery cart that you might see in a city park. The actual vehicle, you know, never existed, uh, but back in the day when uh, just about anything with wheels got t turned into a, a model kit, uh, this was one of the more interesting <laughs> and, and popular of the custom trikes. Overall, when you're done, the dimensions are about seven and a quarter inches long, four and a quarter inches wide, and five and a half inches high. We'll be using um, a liquid cement for most of the construction, sometimes super glue for fragile parts, uh, and for the pieces uh, like the clear parts for the headlights, we'll be using a white glue or a crystal clear that's made for those clear parts. Now remember to follow the manufacturer's safety and use guidelines when you see or hear any products mentioned in the review. Here are the decals for this kit, and as you can see, they're very colorful, and the register is pretty good, uh, although they're simplistic. I suggest, however, you use uh, an aftermarket product uh, that's made f uh, for um, making sure that they conform to the contours of the model and stick well, like, uh, like this micro-scale product. Um, it's a setting solution, and it'll help them conform to that uh, body. Construction on the build starts by painting the major body and frame components. You can assemble the cooler bottom and the body and the cycle halves to make painting a little bit easier. Once the sub-assemblies are uh, put together like this and set us and fully dried, uh, wet sand the parts with a fine sandpaper uh, like an 800 to 1000 grit and then primer the parts uh, all around with a good quality primer. Once the primer has dried, wet sand the surface again uh, with the 800 to 1000 grit wet or dry paper and rinse it off and let it air dry. Now I used uh, multiple stage paint for this kit. First I painted the parts completely with a plain white base uh, and then I used a pearl mid coat mix of powdered pearl and clear um, that I just put together uh, for a nice shimmer. I painted the parts completely with some uh, white pearl effect, and then that kind of gives it an opalescence look to it. With the paint fully cured and dried, we can apply the decals to the ice box um, cooler portion. And um, I recommend that you start with the large stripes uh, and uh, use some of that um, setting solution to make sure they'll wrap around and stick well and complete that with uh, some warm water uh, and if your water cools off during the process you know get some more warm water and, and uh, keep that fresh make sure that they're uh, uh, put in the right place that way and then uh, use some of the setting solution to set them into position let the decals dry overnight and once they're dry you can give the entire uh, body a clear coat uh, to seal them into place the roof has some red stripes, which really make it look like a Surrey top from the old days. And I'm going to use some uh, blue masking tape here uh, to give it some stripes. Now, uh, they have an even distance you know, between them uh, so that it looks um, proper. And then paint, once taped off, paint the uh, red onto the roof and then clear coat all of the body assemblies. Uh, uh, that um, have stripes and decals on them to uh, make them easier to handle. 
So get the rest of the bike parts uh, out for assembly and paint the parts uh, well the way you would like but here's what I did um, the tassel bars are red and white with alternating colors the scroll work is gold and the seat is red the roof supports are aluminum and red and the sign is white with red poles and ice cycle decals on each side and the pedals are painted red also with the detail parts uh, painted and dried we can assemble the trike and on the frame add the seat the pedals and the pedal support the foot pad back glass and the scroll work now I use some super glue to attach all these pieces except for the glass and I use some white glue on that now the small supports are installed into the roof and super glued to the back of the seat frame then install the tassels onto the roof add the top sign and install the small supports and attach the seat frame with some super glue also. Now attach the side ports into place and many uh, side supports and many of the uh, attachments uh, on this assembly don't really have positive attachment points so use super glue for strength and, and eye them up so they're symmetrical and you found a nice place to uh, uh, use for glue attachment points and remember you have to scrape off any paint or chrome uh, from the attachment point to get a good bond now we begin work on the wheels and to me these are the most interesting part of the kit even though the whole thing is pretty cool subject matter now assemble the front and rear rim rings uh, into the clear centers with some white glue and then insert the tires they have an interesting tread pattern on them note that the tire with the longer center hub slides into the bike frame and is held in place with the axle pin only super glue the locking cap so that the tire will continue to spin freely and rotate now find these parts and we'll assemble the main ice box it gets started next and paint the handle grips red glue the brake plates into place and insert a tire and glue only the hub cover to attach the wheels and continue to rotate. Now attach the bells to the handlebars and the bars to the box. Then put the front bumper into place. Get these parts ready and assemble and paint the ice cream offerings. The fudge bar is brown with a tan stick, the ice cone white with a tan cone, and super glue those to the box front. Now add the highlights and the lenses in the box front with some white glue and install the spotlight lenses to the lid. Grab these parts because these are the ice cream tubs and boxes and they are painted as as how you like to paint them. Um, I use multiple colors just to make them stand out and attach the tubs lids and install the boxes and tubs into the cooler. Then add the scoop to the top of the lid. Now join the two sections with a pin that's put into the ice box and a lock ring is then inserted onto the pin. And that completes construction. You'll have a few pieces left over uh, from the kit and it actually would construct most of the boss bike uh, that you see on, on the original box art for that kit. But these will be extras and uh, you can put them into your kit stash and there we have it. Your model is done. Well, there you have it. And this vintage kit will certainly turn heads on your display shelf. Now, it has a low parts count, but it can still be a little bit challenging because it's pretty much completely painted before assembly. And many of the parts don't have real good attachment points. Um, you may need some super glue for some of these, um, and you need considerable amount of patience to do the kit properly. The roof stripes are done without decals, and they have to be measured out and painted and the fit and finish isn't that good uh, it's not too bad once you uh, do a little test fitting first but there are some sink marks uh, on the frame and the kit was from a time you know when they just made fun kits they put them out uh, specifically for their looks and once finished though the kits fairly solid and builds into a nice uh, display model I would say it's a little harder than the intermediate because of some of the features, but if I were you, I'd go find one and put it on my shelf.
Well, we hope you like this premium step-by-step -step model kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and at our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.